and we back with day number 23 of consistency we're basically in the home stretch y'all i got like what eight more day eight more days until this is completely over but honestly i've been thinking maybe we're gonna keep it going into january we'll see how things go so the other day i was going through instagram basically replying to some of my dms and i got this dm from our friend danny phil danny phil had the idea for this video so shout out to him and this is what it is it's well it was day two of asking kenny to do a creative players rebuilding challenge here are the rules you have to create 13 random players from player creator you cannot edit the players at all so you have to get lucky add them to a team try to win a championship while having at least three of the creative players on the team now for some of y'all that may not make any sense whatsoever so let me explain it a little bit more so if we go to the 2k menu and we go over to features create a player well we can legitimately create a player but it starts off as some random dude this dude right here name is shane jameson He's big red, he's a center from Florida State, and he's 20 years old. Now, again, it's all completely random. He's a seven-foot center, 252 pounds. So random that even his attributes are random. We get to see what he's good at, what he's bad at, and what Danny Field is telling me is that I need to create 13 of these players and see if we can win a championship with keeping at least three of them. So started off with this guy. He ended up being a only a 68 overall. But again, it's completely random. I've done this times where the guy created was an 80. I've had a 75. I had it all the way to 84. So we literally have to get lucky. And we started off with Shane, and Shane was terrible. Let's go into player number two. Auto-generated guy Clyde McKenzie. He is also a center, but we call him champ around here. Let's see how big of a center he is. He's seven foot as well. So we're starting off with two centers. And let's see what his overall is, a 71. A little bit better than our boy Shane, but again, not that great. But the problem with this is that, well, no matter how many players you create, they will always have zero badges. And, you know, badges are super important in the NBA. But, again, this is this is a rebuild of challenge, so I'm cool with that. I need to keep at least three of these. And so far, these two dudes don't have any trade value or can't play. Next guy is Robert Bledsoe. He is a power four, so we're sticking to big men here. Let's see how big of a guy he is. He is 6'11", so we're starting off with some size, and then let's see how good he is. He is a 77, so Robert Bledsoe looks like he's going to be one of our better players going into year number one. Um, all Everybody's going to be 20 years old, but we start off with three bigs. Can we get a guard, please? We got Gary Jackson. He is also a center. Oh, man. Imagine us putting together a roster of 13 centers. Texas Southern, how good are you, Mr. Jackson? He is a 76. Let's go. So forget Clyde McKenzie, forget Shane Jameson. We got Gary Jackson, and Gary Jackson is going to be one of our best players. He can hit the three. His mid range shot is an A. Plus. So we got our two best players here. Both of them can stretch the floor. But please, can we get a guard? Next guy here is Nicholas Burke. Nicknamed Skinny, but he is also a power forward slash center. Um, he's 226 pounds, 6'10". What is he good at? What is he bad at? Skinny, another power forward, and A on the inside, B on the mid-range, and B plus from three. He can defend on the perimeter and in the paint. Pretty, you know, it's a little bit below average, but that's okay. Rebound is not amazing for a power forward, but it, it's doable. And he's got good potential. Next guy. No guards. Basically, no wing players. Uh, Kobe Teague. Captain Clutch is his nickname, but is he good? He's from Indonesia. He's a center, but how good of a player is, is Captain Clutch going to be? He will be, oh, one of our worst players. A 71 overall, rim protector. Please, and I please just give me a guard. We're starting off with literally all power fours and center. A shooting guard! Jeremy Weber, let's go. Big Red is what we call him, even though his hair is not red. Nothing about him gives off red, but he is nicknamed Big Red. He is a shooting guard. How tall of a shooting guard? 6'5", that's good. That's that's pretty average height for a shooting guard. But can he play? He sucks. 70 overall. He can hit the three-point shot. He can score pretty decently, but his defense, his rebound, his playmaking is god-awful for a shooting guard. But uh, he can score the ball. And right now, he's our best guard player. Hopefully, we get another one. A small four, power four, JT Early. The Nick last name Early got me thinking about the 
what was his name? Clee Anthony Early from Syracuse, I'm pretty sure. He played a few years with the Knicks, and that was the only guy off the top of my head I know with the last name Early in NBA history. From Central Arkansas, so he's a mid-major, lower-tier college player, but that don't mean nothing. He can turn around and be great. He is 6'8 with some big old shoulders. Shoulder width is a 75. Can you hoop, though? How good of a player are you? That's pretty good. Oh, my God. He can knock down a three. He's a three-point specialist. JT Early. How many players do we have now? So that is our seventh player. So we're about halfway through, a little bit over halfway through. We got a three-point specialist here, and I like that. He may end up being the guy that we keep because you can never have too much three-point shooting. Let's see who will be next i hate that all these guys have super generic faces like there's like you know what i'm saying like give me some variety here kenny oh my god we got a kenny he's staying on the team i don't care what his overall is he is on the team this is me kenny hart easy breezy he's a shooting guard now in my time i was a point guard because when you five seven five eight you kind of have to be a point guard but kenny hart is our guy how tall are you how tall are you six five another average size shooting guard but how good are you Oh, boy. He's a 75. That's not bad. He can score with the best of them. A-plus on the inside. A mid-range shot and the A-minus three-point shot. And he defends. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's dunking on people. Driving dunk is a 96. But, again, with no badges, I guess he probably won't be dunking on people. I see that they give you custom hot zone, so it looks like he's a mid-range killer. I like that. Uh, but, yeah, he's going to be he's gonna be dunking all over the place wow 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 perimeter defense is good athleticism is great kenny hart just stole my heart you know what i'm saying next guy is going to be stan romeo he is a point guard nickname shorty okay so how short are we talking how short are we talking he's going to be six foot yep that is short for nba player he's rocking number 23 when the why not russell westbrooks okay can he play like russell westbrook let's see he will end up being, ah, no, no, a 70 overall. For a guy that is seven foot, his finishing is good. His defense is solid, but at seven foot, how good of a defender can you really be? He's going to end up being the oldest guy on the roster, or tied with Gary Jackson and Nicholas Burke at 21 years old. But we got a point guard. We got a couple shooting guards. So we're starting to put together a full roster. This guy looks like a guard. Walt Posey, James Posey's cousin, younger brother, nicknamed Duh from West Florida. Okay. All right. He's 20 years old, rocking a number 16. He is 6'1. And he is rocking some LeBron Jameses. These might be the 15s or the 16 models, somewhere in that range, maybe 14s. I did not have this pair, but I know a lot of people that hoop with them at the gym I used to go to. How good are you, though? Oh, boy. Okay, so he's a 73 overall. He hits that three and he facilitates. They say he is a three-point facilitator. You like to see that. So he is our best point guard at the moment. So we only have two more spots left on the roster. We have Sam Snow, nicknamed Jay. Unless his J stands for jumper, he can hit that three ball. It don't make sense for his name to be Jay, unless he's junior. Sam Snow Jr. He's a small forward slash shooting guard. How tall are you as the small forward? He is a 6'10 small forward slash shooting guard. Okay. But can you hoop though? Ah, oh, he's decent. And he hits the three. Oh my God. The man got the KD mode. 6'10, 220. Hit the three point shot. Perimeter defense is good. Okay, one last player. Can we get an 80 plus overall with our very last guy? Damian Black. <laughs> okay. Okay, Damian Black. The random names are super funny. He's a 6'9 power forward. All right. Are, are those Kyrie's he's hooping in? I think those are Kyrie's. All right. But how good are you? He's our best player. Save the best for last. He is a stretch four. Three-point shot is ridiculous at an A-. minus. Mid-range shot is an A. Okay, this is the squad we're starting off with. But remember, we're trying to win a championship in year number one, but we need to keep at least three of these guys. Three of these dudes are going to be on our team. I don't know which three. The big question is, all of these guys' salary is zero, right? So if we transfer them to an actual roster... What is their salary going to end up being? Are they all going to be on minimums? Are some of these guys going to get like max contracts? I don't really know, but we have to create a roster. 
let's try to put him on the Knicks. We're going to delete all the players from the Knicks roster. No more Mitchell Robinson, RJ, Julius Randle. All of these guys are gone. The Knicks have a complete slate. And they started off with bringing in all of these. Where's the auto-generated guys? All the creative players. We're going to copy all these guys to the Knicks. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put them all on the Knicks. What is their contract situation going to be? They're all on one-year minimums. That's kind of beautiful. That is kind of beautiful. Okay, so we're going to save our roster. I'm going to transfer it to my team. Oh, I don't know, my league. And we start our rebuild. All right, so let me pick the Knicks. So the question is, how much trade value which will each one of these players have? Because they are all 21, 20 years old, except for Jeremy Lin ended up on our team. I guess he's a roster filler. They're all 21, but I swear when I created them, they were all 20. Okay. Um, so they all have, they're, they're young, so they should have trade value. Oh, okay. Yep, this is a challenge. It's a challenge video for sure. They all got like two and a half, two star value. So how do we get a star player, superstar players um, without having players to trade? Our draft pick is worth three and a half stars, which is pretty cool. Um, I can work with this. I can 100% work with this. We got so much salary cap. We're going to make it happen. Is there a way we can go into free agency and pick up uh, Nikola Miritich? And then we're going to trade him away instantly. Who's another guy? Do I have enough room for Kenneth Reed? No. So we're going to do Nico Miritich and Robert Bledsoe in a trade. I think I want to keep Damian Black because he's such a good shooter. I think he's going to be one of the three guys we end up keeping. So let's see what our trade's going to be. Brandon Clark is really cool, but is that really an upgrade if I'm throwing two decent small fours for just one? I know Iggy's there, but Iggy ain't really out there like that. We can get a first round pick from Atlanta Hawks who kind of blow at this moment. Devontae Graham would be a great pickup. Trade number six is the one we're looking at the most at the moment. Hassan Whiteside's been playing pretty decent. Uh, but we're going to trade number six. Devontae Graham's going to be our point guard at the moment. We may flip him a little bit later because you get assets, you flip him. You know the name of this channel. So next we're doing Bismack Biombo, JT Early, and this first round pick. The one that has the most trade value. It's up to four star trade value. So come on. Bam. Like, like, come on. I think trade number three is the one we're doing. De'Aaron Fox is there. We got our point guard, though. I don't really need a point guard. I like the idea of... Oh, this is actually a good trade, too. We get the defense of Drew Holiday alongside Devontae Graham. And then we get the Slitherman slash Brandon Ingram, who scores the ball with the best of them nowadays. But does 2K put the respect on his name as far as giving him the shots that he deserves? Trade number nine is a good one, too. I don't need LaMarcus and DeMar. Like, that. overall-wise, that's pretty cool. But uh, I don't like that style of play. D-Book, Hassan Whiteside, and CJ. Honestly, y'all, call me crazy. I'm looking at this trade. That's the trade we're doing. We're bringing in Brandon Ingram and Drew Holiday. May trade him a little bit later. But we got the one, two, and three right here. And I like that. Now we need to find a good center, right? So... I told you Kenny Hart is safe. So let's go Jerry Jackson and Sam Snow in the first round pick. You get us a good center, please. Um, Inez Cantor is a good center. Yusuf Nurk is a good center. Boogie. Mm, I would. I, I don't like any of these trades, really. I would like just like a very good defensive center. So let me go trade finder, and I'm going to try to find my guy. I saw that Bam was out there. I don't know if their team is selling. Nope, they don't have any trade offers. They really wanted that first round pick, I guess. Bam would be the perfect center for this team right now. Um, I don't need a great center either. I just need somebody that can play good defense. And I guess I was going to say rebound the ball. Brooke Lopez don't really rebound like that. But if we get a rebound and power for it, then I guess we're fine. Because Brooke Lopez brings a stretch ability. They just want a second round pick and stand Romeo. That's an easy trade for me. Give me that trade. Even if Brooke Lopez doesn't end up being our starting center, him coming off the bench would be dope. So we still need a power forward. Again, I like Damian Black, but he's off the bench power forward. Some offense off that. So let's try to get a power forward that I know that can rebound the ball well. Or even get a center that we can switch over to power forward. Or we can switch Brook Lopez to power forward. Let's see what Brook Lopez overall does if we switch him to power forward. 81 overall. Okay, so let's go back to find the center that we need. A rebounded center. JaVale McGee. They want Damian Black. We can't do that. Um, but I do like this trade for Gary Jackson. So we'll keep that in the back of our hair for JaVale McGee. I'm going to keep looking out on the market for other centers out there. Jared Allen 
or even DeAndre Jordan would be not too bad, but they want they want some of our better pieces. Jared Allen, they want some of our better pieces, as you could probably expect. What is Steven Adams' trade value? Ah, they want Brandon Ingram. Oh, my God. Y'all selling too high, bro. You're never going to be able to trade him if you want that much. Hassan White said they want Drew Holiday. Uh, nah, I don't like any of these trades. So, it seems like the guy that we're going to end up with is, pr is probably... Um, it's probably going to be JaVale McGee. Again, JaVale is cool. JaVale is cool. He just ain't... You know what I'm saying? He ain't all that. Let's try Bam one more time. Still nothing. God, just give me... Bam out of bio will be perfect. Where do you go, Barrett? They want Drew Holiday. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. I think I can replace Drew Holiday. I'm going for two tiny defense players to get Rudy Gobert to be our center. We're going to have like twin towers, block kings with uh, Brooke Lopez and him. Kenny Hart is now starting for us. Shout out to Kenny Hart. But we need to get a better shooting guard. At this moment, we still have one guy, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we still got a lot of our guys left. So I don't need to worry about anything at this moment. So we're going to trade Nicholas Burke, who also is a good shooter. Jeremy Lin in a first. I don't know. I don't know. What are we looking for now? We're looking for a starting shooting guard. Nothing on the trade market there. So, again, we're about getting assets and flipping them. Let's try Brooke Lopez in the first round pick again. Our first round picks are kind of valuable here. Brooke Lopez in the first. You get us Josh Richardson. Davis Bertez is like the best shooter in the world. <laughs> at the moment, at least. Um, DeMar DeRozan. Devontae Graham, DeMar DeRozan, Brandon Ingram. I, I don't like the space in there. I don't like the space in there. Blake Griffin. He's old. His contract is so much bigger. I'm good on it. Dang, man. This is tough. I mean, I could do... Evan Fournier scores. Evan Fournier can score the ball. He's one of the more underrated players in the NBA at this, at this moment. Marcus Smart. I had Drew Holiday because of his defense. I could pick up Marcus Smart right here and right now. That's what we're going to do. Marcus Smart is going to defend well alongside Devontae Graham. Perfect. And now we got Damian Black back in the star lineup. So next, we're going to trade Nicholas Burke and try to get a better power forward we still got two first three first round picks because the celtics gave us one in exchange so a better power forward please give me something boogie's out there i'm gonna trade for boogie and make him a power forward a healthy boogie at a power forward position should be decent he goes up to an 84 overall that is a beautiful sight so we're looking at Devonte graham marcus smart brandon ingram the marcus cousins rudy gobert and off our bench we do have damian black still gary jackson kenny hart those are our three guys. And we still got four bench warmers here, basically. So let's see what we can get for Sam Snow, I guess. Uh, just because he's there. And we still have th we still have three first-round picks. So you know what? We could keep getting assets and flipping them. Like Boogie in this first-round pick may be able to get us somebody decent. We got Tobias Harris there. Zach Levine. Montrez Harrell. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. Chris Stapps. Yep. It's going to be Chris Stapps. It's going to be Chris Stapps for Zegas. Come on, man. You get assets, you flip them. I know it's only a one overall boost, but if we're talking about defensively blocking everything, Chris Stapps and Rudy Gobert together is going to be fire. And we still have this other first round pick. So we're going Marcus Smart in one of these first. Just see what's out there. We got to test every possible trade. And you know what? I'm bringing Drew Holiday back. I'm sorry, Drew. He probably just bought a nice house and utah well no you're coming back to new york okay so defensively we should be fire come on man tell me to say one of the best defensive teams in the league right now off the bench we're fine i would love to have like at least 180 overall off the bench so let's try to find one i don't know who we trade to make that happen um i guess it's sam snow in this last first round pick maybe it'll get us an 80 overall maybe it won't matisse Stiebel's there they're the same overall but matisse Stiebel may be a little bit better i don't know what sam snow is good at sam snow he seems like a very well-rounded NBA player. Is his defense good? His defense is about average. He's pretty average at everything. So you know what? I'd rather just keep him rather than do that trade. Landry Shamit is a specialist from the three-point line. Nemanja Bielitsa, but we already have a good backup power forward. This might be it, y'all. I know we still got this extra first-round pick, but this might be the team we rolling with. Last thing, I want to just try uh, Jerry. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Gary. Was I calling him Jerry this entire time? It's Gary. 
My fault, Gary. I'm a terrible general manager. I don't even know my players' names. But it seems like this is the team we're going to end up rolling with, man. Um, unless there's a good, very good backup center that could come in. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's figure out the coaching situation. Instead of having David Fisdale, we're going to see what system fits. And it looks like um, balance. Let's find a balanced coach. And our balanced coach is going to be Otis Newman, I guess. Sign him to the team. Let's make this rotation perfect. Emmanuel Moutier as our backup point guard. I guess that's fine. We still got Kenny Hart in the rotation with Gary Jackson. So three out of our four bench players are a generator guy, are a creator guy. So I stuck to the challenge. I stuck to the challenge. And now let's see how many wins we can get. Okay, y'all, it's not starting off great. Um, eight and eight. This is not a championship team right now. This is not a championship team right now. So we're going to have to make more trades. Let's see what the problem is. Because I want to win this championship on this one. Um, are we scoring the ball well? We're not. Defensively, we're top three. Our offense is really struggling at this point. Okay. All right. So what do we do to make our offense better? Is Brandon Ingram getting this? He's averaging 17 points per game. Very good efficiency. Rudy Gobert's not a guy that's going to score for you. He's only averaging nine. Chris Stapps is playing fine. Drew Holiday is not. Okay. Drew Holiday may be the moving piece. Devontae Graham is <laughs> killing the game. I think... It has to do with um it has to do with Drew Holiday not being able to score very well. And maybe the auto-generated guys aren't filling their roles either. So let's go Drew Holiday, Gary Jackson, and that first. We could get Tobias Harris. That doesn't really fit our needs. We need a shooting guard. Uh Chris Middleton can run shooting guard. He's having a good season. Zach Levine is averaging 29. Yes, I think we trade for Zach Levine here. Unless there are some other trades that can blow me away. Exactly, he's averaging 29, and they want to trade him to me. That's easily a big, a good trade for us. Uh, Wiggins is having a good year, too. CJ is averaging 23 on very good efficiency. But I think we have to go with the guy that's averaging 29. Close to 50, 40, 85 club. Yeah, let's do this trade. And now, with that trade being done, we really don't have a backup center because we traded our guy. Um, that's no big deal, especially definitely not having Cristiano Felicio back there. So let's try to quickly flip Felicio in two seconds. We just need a competent backup center. Oh, Bobby. Bobby's going to be our backup center. And fans going to love him. There we go. And he don't need to get a lot of minutes per game because we we have Chris Stapps and Rudy Gobert who both can play the center position. I mean, even Damian uh, Blackhand played the center position. He's not having a very good... He's shooting the ball officially. I guess that his tendencies... His shot tendency is super low. But part of the challenge is that I can't change anything. He's a guy that should be taking more shots than this. But I can't change it. I cannot change it. That's part of the challenge. He's one of the best three-point shooters on our team, but his three-point tendency is terrible. Ah, I should have looked at tendencies. But Kenny, on the other hand, how he's his shot tendency is up there. And he's averaging eight points per game in his minutes. But I think, okay, so that's it for us, hopefully. Okay. Our defense may not be as good as it was with Drew Holiday, but our trouble was on the offensive side. So let's see how impactful this trade can be for us. There it is, a two-game win streak. Did we lose one? Please just win this one. Yes, okay. So we're still, we're winning, but it's like close games. We're not blowing anybody out. Except, oh my God, we scored 80 points that game. So the offense is still kind of struggling out there. But we're starting to rack in some, we're starting to bring in some wins. That's what I like to see. I lost everyone. So if we can win three games and then lose one, I like that. I like that. So, again, I'll be back at the end of the season. I think this is going to be our final team. I don't know if it's really a championship contender, but you got to remember where we started off with and where we're at now, and that's three games in a row. Oh, that's four games in a row. Ah, that is four games in a row. What is the problem? What is the problem here? Do I trade Rudy Gobert, man, to, for somebody that can score the ball more? Like, I don't, I don't know what the problem is, really. Man, this sucks. And it could it be the, the lack of scoring on our bench i don't know i don't know what the solution to this will be because everybody all of these guys are playing well right rudy gobert is averaging 10 points per game 12 rebounds he's getting his blocks he's shooting it pretty efficiently brandon ingram great efficiency zach levine great efficiency like everybody's playing well and then we hit this marker and then our boy damian black is not and kenny hart is playing okay what is the problem on this team? 
do I trade Damian Black? Because if we trade Damian Black, we still have Kenny Hart, Sam Snow, Wal Posey. We still have three. I think I got to trade Kenny Black or uh, Damian Black and get a better backup power forward that can score, I guess. I don't know. I'm bringing in Derrick Rose. Talk about scoring off the bench. He's averaging 19 points per game right now. Right? Yeah, he's averaging 19 and a half points per game right now. So he'll be our scoring off our bench. He's coming back to Chicago. I trade him black. It's just his shot tendency was so low that it was hard for him to get anything going ever. And then we're going to trade Emmanuel Moutier for Carmelo to be our backup power forward now. So now we definitely have scoring off of our bench. I don't want Derrick Rose starting. I do want Devontae. Why is everybody tired? Hello? Our seven, eight guys in our roster are like dead drained. Did I pick the wrong coach? Is this guy having them run suicides after every game? Feed the post. Why is that our offense? Why is that our offense? We're going to hmm, shoot at will, get shooters open. Why are we playing in the post? That's why we're losing. That's why we were losing. Okay, so this is our new team. Off the bench, we have Derrick Rose, Carmelo Anthony back in New York as well. Kenny Hart, Bobby, and we're fine. Kenny Hart can run back up small forward. And then we also have B.I. And, and Zach Levine can run some small forward too. That should be our very last trade, hopefully. I feel like these are the most... Okay, there's more losses. Got it. Got it. I, I don't know if there's a, a situation where we end up winning at all. Um, but those are the most like in-season trades I've ever made in the video, I think. I made like four in-season trades. But if we can start rallying off some, there's some wins. Okay, there it is. We're starting to put it together, y'all. We're starting to put it together. Okay, I lost to the Rockets. Not a bad thing. The Rockets are a very good team. Let's keep it going. Yes. All right, we did it. We did it. Are we a championship winning team? I don't know. But at this moment in time, we're at least one of the better teams in the league. Not a two-game losing streak. We don't do that around here. We lose one, and then we get back on the three-game winning. Giannis wins MVP. Zion rookie of the year. D'Angelo Russell, six man. My bad. The, the, the dog ran into the room and... If you watched my video from yesterday you know about these dogs then we have Giannis winning defense player of the year and bam win most improved that's why we wanted them on our team so bad man coach here went to brett brown um so they ended up having a better record than us which is completely fine do we have any players from the new york knicks out here and getting any awards nope but uh we traded drew holiday and he made an all defensive team so that's cool oh no rudy gobert all defensive second team and yeah so we ended up being the four seed wow with 54 52 wins we were the four seed Oh, the league is the league is hot. The league is hot, baby. The four seed. Okay. All right. And then we're going against the five seed Bucks. Oh, that is tough. Okay. All right. We can beat the Bucks. We can 100% beat the Bucks. Let's make it an eight man rotation. Devontae Graham is still starting at the moment. I love having Derrick Rose off the bench to score. He averaged 16 off our bench. Let's just let's go into this. Brandon Ingram, and we're going to have to defend Giannis. All right. Okay, 2-2 okay, two, two series. Now we got a sim castle from here because nothing else matters but the but the W. And then there's a win. Okay, just get out of this round. I feel confident if we get out of this round. Next, okay, we're still going against them and we're blowing them out. Yeah, yeah, we're blowing them out. All right, we're out of this. Oh, wait, they coming back. Hold on. Oh, no. The fourth quarter, we choked it. Nope, we're going to OT. We did choke that fourth quarter. 12 points there are 28 points and they're up. Please, okay. Take this lead. We lost. Ah, they forced a game seven. Wow. I need to see the box score of that one. Giannis said he's not going home today. 49, 21, and 8. Chris Middleton, Wes Matthews, they all came to play. And on our side, I mean, everybody came to play for us too, except for that fourth quarter. Except for that fourth quarter. All right. We will not get eliminated in the first round, will we, team? Wow. Come on. Just. Oh, man. A first round exit. Bro, going against the Bucks in 2K, the fact that they are a five seed, is that makes it rigged. They tanked. They had to tank the last couple weeks of the season to go against us because that team is way too good to end up being a five seed. And then the Lakers got eliminated. They got swept by the Phoenix Suns. Wow. Imagine if that happened in real life. All right, let's see who wins it all. The 76ers do. Man, I thought we put together a solid team from where we started. We didn't have any superstars, but it's almost impossible to get superstars. You got 78 overalls and lower on your team. But I thought we put together a good team. Honestly, this is a young team. So, like, this thing could come out next year and, and still be decent. Um, but that's the end of this video, y'all. Shout out to Danny Field again for the suggestion. Um, DMs are always open. I don't get around to obviously seeing or respond to all of them. But I do try to take some time out to see what people are talking about. So, again, I appreciate y'all. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Peace.